what the story is And the moral of the story is Till your arms fall off Till your abs get hard And your moral of the story is Till your hands go numb And they cramp in the fans And the stands go the story is Hi, it's Dan for G.E.E.K. We're here in Manchester with Watsky. It's just come off stage. Uh, that was amazing. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. First time in Manchester now? Second time. Second time. We played the other room in the academy in May. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we missed that one. We, 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 we've kind of discovered you through YouTube. Right I think on. a lot of your fans probably have. Yeah, I would the say. UK. Um, I, I, I kind of want to talk to you a, bit, a little bit about that. How do you, do you feel YouTube's been a really big kind of instrumental part of you? You, you, your fame, your success? It's definitely an element that led to a lot of people discovering my work. You know, before that I was on Def Poetry Jam in 2007, which uh, was my first kind of little little jump start to my career, but people didn't really know me yet. And yeah, I, I give YouTube a lot of credit, but um, one thing that I would say is I thank YouTube, but I believe more specifically in content creation. Like, when people call themselves YouTubers, I don't use that word as much because I, I view myself as a video creator and part of the creator community, but I don't like to define myself. You know, YouTube is a company. It's a great company, but it's not like somebody who was a chef would, you know, call themselves like a craft, per, I know, or like, you know, a Sudbury or something, you know, like. But I do, I do thank YouTube for the boost that I got for sure. Okay, you seem to, you seem to make videos for. 99% of your songs. Um, I, I don't know whether it's true. I heard you don't monetize your videos. Yeah, it's, it's I just don't. It's a case of putting them out there just to drive ticket sales and album sales. That's the idea is that you get a direct support from the fan and yeah. that if they want to, they can make a conscious decision to support you, but that there's no like third party. And you know what's happened is ads have become less important for a lot of people. They become less lucrative for people. And, mm. you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I've skirted around it. When when you actually started out, obviously you mentioned Deaf Poetry Jam. Did you did you start aiming to be a, a poet? Did you start aiming to be a rapper? Would one lead to the other? Was it? I always wanted to do both. Yeah, I had a, a poetry career uh, or like an aspiration to do it uh, alongside the rapping stuff, and they kind of grew together. Mm. I don't think I've seen anyone who obviously one minute you you're, you're rapping, you got your band on stage, the next minute they vacate and you're just there in a the spotlight and you just stand there doing poetry I don't think I don't know you, you wouldn't expect a lot of people to buy tickets to go and see yeah. a poet yet yeah, they're very happy to go out and see you do that and it's amazing well I think you know I've done just straight up hour-long poetry shows and it's a very different environment it's usually like a seated crowd yeah more like in a theater um, but I think that it's a great way to introduce people to poetry who might not know they like it by putting it in the middle of a hip-hop show absolutely yeah. And you, you seem to have a habit of bringing your friends on tour as well. So I've seen yeah. Wax you've worked with before, Modi. Uh, is that something, do you, do you like to kind of, I guess it's sharing the wealth, it's bringing, bringing other people into your success a little bit? Well, I mean, they've helped me too. We're just friends with each other. Like, I don't view it as me helping Wax. It's like me and Wax are helping each other. Okay. We're friends who have a lot in common with our music and we like touring together, we like playing, and you know, it's, it's mutually beneficial. Awesome. And what's next? Uh, I'm gonna go work on a new album. I have uh, like five months off and I'm just going to try and do a new project and then hopefully come back around, come back around and do another big tour in the summer probably. Awesome. UK will be wel welcome with open arms. Thank you. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Thanks very much for giving us your time. My pleasure. Brilliant. Thanks. Great show. Thank you. Cheers. Take care.
she does me super California Let's make sexy and we know You're not my face, but you're number one Never top my face, you can have a cheek and pop-pop And a nigga that you can't have another can of pop-pop Finish! I'm a rock liner, that's my kind of wanna pop my bird You're a fun nerd, but what's my word?